वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबउट स्टाटिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ट्रांसड्यूसर वन ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इनपुट इंपीडेंस एंड आउटपुट इंपीडेंस सो वॉट इज मीन बाई इंपीडेंस द वर्ड इंपीडेंस मीन्स रेसिस्टेंस सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स रेसिस्टेंस इज अदरवेज कॉल्ड एस इंपीडेंस सो हाउ फार एंड हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज सो वॉट इज कॉल्ड एस इनपुट इंपीडेंस these input impedance and output impedance are the terms used in amplifiers for example there is an ic called as amplifier called as ic741 so this is this can be used for many purposes for amplification of voltages comparison of voltage and several applications like this so if you can see the characteristics of this this has high input impedance and low output impedance so why so it is having this property so this high input impedance or high input resistance is there to get the maximum out of the signal which it meets for example this amplifier is fed a signal of some 7 volt it has high input impedance what is the role of an impedance or resistance to drop the most maximum amount of voltage if there is a resistor in here this 7 volt will be totally dropped in this resistor so that this 7 volt can be processed acquired fully and processed so that is the reason why the input impedance is higher is high for a amplifier this amplifier so output impedance will be very low or zero very low or zero why it should be zero after processing the input acquiring the input and processing the input the output should be supplied in a fullest format for example if it has to be amplified as 14 volt all the 14 volt should come fully so if there is some glitch here or some internal resistance here this 14 volt we cannot get we will get only 13.5 volt or 13.7 volt so this is not a proper fullest output this is the reason for example is amplifier 7 volt to 14 volt it has to be amplified twice so in order to amplify it twice first the input should be acquired fully the input impedance should be greater after processing the output impedance should be very low and this 14 volt without any glitch should be sent as output so output impedance has to be low this is one of the simplest analogy for explaining the input and output impedance the static characteristics of a transducer thank you